Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting radical equation problem. It is x cube plus 3x plus 10 equal to e square root 44 plus 6x plus 2x cube. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by writing our RHS as equal to e square root. Let me write in this manner 2x cube plus 6x 44 I will write 20 plus 24. This is our 44. Now I will consider first three terms. 2x cube. Let me take 2 common. x cube plus 3x plus 10. And then after it is 24. Left hand side is x cube plus 3x plus 10. Now it's substitution time as we have the whole. So let me write x cube plus 3x plus 10 equal to a. So left hand side I will be writing. Let me write this side first 3x plus 10. Now I will write this side as a equal to square root 2a plus 24. Now I will consider squaring both sides. So once I will take squaring, it will become like this. Now square root and square will be over. So I can write a square equal to 2a plus 24 or a square minus 2a minus 24 equal to 0. Now I can factorize it is 6 times 4. So I can write 2a as 6a minus 4a. Let me write here a square minus 2a minus 24 equal to 0. a square minus 6a plus 4a. So if I will multiply then I will be getting minus 24a square equal to 0. Now I will take a common from first two. So it will become a minus 6, 4 common from last two. Using factorization, we will find our a. a minus 6 times a plus 4 equal to 0. So from here I can write a equal to 6, a equal to minus 4. Now what was our a? a was the LHS. This was our a. So I will frame two cubic equations in place of a x cube plus 3x plus 10 equal to 6 and second equation which I will write x cube plus 3x plus 10 equal to negative 4. So from this equation I will write one cubic equation and from second equation I will write another cubic equation. Let me frame it x cube plus 3x plus 4 equal to 0. This is first one. And second equation would be x cube plus 3x plus 14 equal to 0. Let's solve. x cube plus 3x plus 4 equal to 0. So I will consider if you will see the rational root theorem, eligible factors of constant coefficient that would be plus minus 1, plus minus 2 and plus minus 4. Leading coefficient plus minus 1. You will consider ratio of constant to leading coefficient. So let me put x is equal to 1. Is it true? 1 plus 3 plus 4. No. Minus 1. Is it true? So minus 1, minus 3 plus 4. Yes, it is true. So we will consider minus 1 as a base solution. Now let's write all the coefficient of cubic equation. Apply SDM. Coefficient of x cube 1. Coefficient of x square 0 as it is not there. Coefficient of x 3. Coefficient of constant term it is 4. So I will be writing straight away leading coefficient 1. Now base solution is negative 1. 
I will multiply minus 1 with 1. So it will become minus 1. Minus 1, 1. 4, minus 1 times 4, minus 4, 0. These are coefficients for quadratic equation. So x square minus x plus 4 equal to 0. Let's solve this quadratic equation. x is equal to minus b. So 1 plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So it is coming out complex valued. So I will write i times square root 15 over 2. So we will reject this as it is rejected as it is complex valued or complex solution. So only one solution is accepted in this case. It was the our base solution x is equal to negative 1. We will check this value at last. Now let's consider the second equation, second quadratic one. That equation was x cube plus 3x plus 14 equal to 0. Again, I will use rational root theorem and synthetic division method. So you can write immediately the eligible factors plus minus 2, plus minus 7, plus minus 14. Leading coefficient plus minus 1. Once we will take ratio. So let me put x is equal to positive number won't satisfy minus 2. So I will get minus 8, minus 2 cube, minus 6, plus 14. Yes, it is true. So we will consider minus 2 as base solution. Now I will use synthetic division method. So let me write all the coefficients of cubic equation. This is our cubic equation. Coefficients are the coefficient of x cube 1, coefficient of x square 0, coefficient of x 3, constant coefficient 14. Leading coefficient we will write as it is 1. Now we have to multiply with the base solution. It is minus 2. So minus 2 times 1, minus 2, minus 2. Minus 2 times minus 2, 4, 7. Minus 2 times 7, minus 14, 0. These are coefficients for quadratic equation. So x square minus 2x plus 7 equal to 0. Let's find out solution whether it is real or not or let us find out discriminant delta b square minus 4ac so i'll be writing b square as minus 2 square 4 minus 4 times 1 times 7 so this value is coming out 4 minus 28 so minus 24 which is negative complex solution so we will reject this case so far, we have calculated two real values. One is x is equal to minus 1 and second one is x is equal to minus 2. Let's verify whether we will reject any real solution or not. So let me write here verification. For x is equal to minus 1. So I will write here minus 1 cube minus 1 minus 3 plus 10 so this is important it should be positive so yes it is 6 lhs lhs should be positive as rhs we are having is a square root so 6 is correct now come to the rhs square root 44 minus 6 minus 2 44 minus 8 square root 36 it will be 6 so this value is true now let us consider the second value x is equal to minus 2 let me put in the lhs first x cube so minus 2 cube 3 times minus 2 minus 6 plus 10 see we will reject this value as it is negative you can see minus 14 plus 10 minus 4 as this value LHS is negative, we will reject this solution. Right hand side will be always positive. So positive number cannot be equal to negative. So we will reject this minus 2. So ultimate solution to this question is 
x is equal to minus 1 only. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.